Hi, my name is Gwen Peterson. I'm a health coach with Take Shape for Life. And this week I wanted to talk to you about your goal, your long-term goal of where you want to be. So is it um, fitting into a pair of jeans? Is it a certain number on the scale? Is it a certain inches around your waist? You know what your goal is, but let me tell you something that really hangs up a lot of people throughout their process that I hope if I go through it, it might be able to help you. So what happens when you are in forward momentum and motivation is this. Sometimes, most of the time, we get in our head about unrealistic expectations. And we start shifting into this little fantasy place in our mind about, okay, yes, I weigh 180 today, but when I weigh 130, my life's going to be better. My relationships are going to be better. I'm going to look better in my jeans. All these what ifs, and you create this little fantasy world of, where you're going to be when. Well, let me tell you what that creates. It creates unrealistic expectations on your scale. And so what happens is this. My first week, I lost five pounds. That's a good first week. Week two, I lost 0.8. So I was like, okay, well, that kind of stunk, but whatever. The third week, I only lost 0.8. Now, let me tell you, my conversation with my coach back then was not pretty. I called her up. I'm like, this program stinks. I could have eaten a Twinkie every day for four points on Weight Watchers and lost more than 0.8 in a week. And she's like, Gwen, go measure yourself. And when I measured, took my measurements, I lost point, uh, 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 0.75 in my waist and an entire inch off of my hips. Now, yes, that was awesome motivation. And that kept me going to my fourth week where I lost four and a half pounds. But guess what happened? Because I knew I could hit a five pound week at the beginning and I knew I could hit a four pound week at the end. What do you think that did? I set myself up in my brain to fail because I kept figuring if I just drank more water or if I made the perfect lean and green, I can pull more four and five pound weeks. And what did that do? That doesn't always happen. So I wanna give you guys a challenge to try and stay in the present every day about what you're really trying to accomplish. Yes, we wanna look good in our jeans. Yes, we want to be thin and not have the muffin top, all of those things. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is we wanna get healthy and feed our body correctly. And when we do that, the end result is gonna be those things, not a number on the scale. So when you find yourself shifting into going to the store and buying those size four jeans or going to a party and have everybody thinking you look great. I don't know. I'm just coming up with scenarios. Put your hands in your face. Tell yourself you're not going to go there today and get back to the job at hand, which is eating every three hours our perfectly balanced carb to protein meals. And guess what? Also get out of your brain that if you have an awesome four or five pound week, you don't deserve the Twinkie. It's just a stepping stone in your journey to the end result. So what I want to tell you is this. If I had not had a good coach tell me to get out of my head about the point eight, I would not be down the 47 pounds I am today. So I am grateful that I had some coaching along the way. But if maybe you're not in that place with your coach or you're not wanting to admit that's where you are, whatever it is, I hope that this little um, message about not letting your brain shift into fantasy and focusing in the present will really help you in your journey toward your end goal. Have a great week, everyone. I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.